How did you get involved with uh, some of Britain's finest? I must say, the Stone Foundation, very talented lads. Yes. I've heard... Can you authenticate this tall tale? I've heard stories about it involving songs getting stolen from an airport and, uh, and you ended up in the Midlands. <laughs> you, you clarify this for me. That's true. A DJ by the name of DJ Chalky was bringing me over and I had, was going to use tracks. Mm. And I hadn't met Stone Foundation. I was going to use tracks and then do some gigs with the band. So my tracks, well, got the gentleman that was making my tracks lost them at the airport. Somebody walked off with a suitcase wow. when he was coming back from a gig. So it was, a, I think, a week or something like that before I was coming. And Stone Foundation, they helped me out. I mean, they, they did all my songs, I mean, the songs that I was singing. And I, they heard them, you know, they'd already known the tracks and they sounded better than some of the guys I was working with in, in uh, Los Angeles. So they really saved my butt because without them, I wouldn't have been able to do some of the gigs. However, when I started playing with them, I wanted to throw out the tracks anyway and just mm. work with them as a band. Well, Neil from the Stone Foundation, you're there, aren't you, Neil? Yeah, I am, Craig, yeah. Mate, can you hear what he's saying about you? Oh, no, it's all right, isn't it? I'm blushing. <laughs> How much did you pay him? Uh, I've, slipped, I've slipped him a tenner. <laughs> you said five more later. Yeah. <laughs> Neil, what's it like working with someone like Nolan Porter? I mean, because he's a, a bona fide living legend. It's uh, it's pretty special for us, really. I mean, when you consider that like the guys that he's worked with on the other albums were people like uh, the Mothers of Invention and Little Feet, the great Lowell George and people like that that mm. have performed with him. Johnny Guitar Watson. Oh, man. I mean, it's all just ridiculous, really. But, I mean... It's great for us because we're kind of doing our own thing, cutting our own little niche. And then uh, to get to work with people like Nolan is just like the cherry on the cake, really, you know. Well, you recorded, what, back in 2011 now, was it? Uh, the Three Shades of Stone Foundation together with Nolan. That's right, yeah. It was a song called uh, Tracing Paper, which we were uh, really, really pleased with. Mm. And what, what was it like working in, in the studio? How did it all come about? I mean, did it feel natural? Did you, did, were you in awe? Was, so, was it, yes, Mr. Porter, no, Mr. Porter? <laughs> right from Mr. Porter, what was no, it like? He's just, he's just one of the lads, man. He's just like <laughs> he's just like us. He's just a chilled out geezer, yeah. we and uh, it was we just kind of hit it off straight away. We started chucking around ideas that myself and, and Neil Shees we had, and and then all the guys just piled on top of it, and we just kind of just hit it off straight from the word go, didn't we, Nolan? Really? Yeah, we sure did. I mean, these guys had you know they're soulful. Mm-hmm. And they, they've been doing soul music for so long and these songs with their sound and their feel just, just it made me excited and made me want to sing even more. So it's, it's been a you know it's been a relationship and it's become a friendship and you know it's, it's just great.